What's happening, Champion Squad? Welcome your beautiful faces back to the channel. And today, we're going to be looking at the top landing locations for Kings Canyon ranked. This is going to be specifically for Split 2, since we have the updated map on here for you guys. So first and foremost, I want to go ahead and highlight the high action packed areas, the so-and-so called hot zone areas that no matter where the dropship is coming in, I mean, for this sake, we do have an example where it comes in from the top left, goes right down to the bottom left, but I want to highlight the areas typically where the dropship is really not going to matter. And these areas are going to be hot areas that where I would say multiple teams, minimum two teams are going to land. First, we have map room here. I don't know why it's not named, but so we got map room, repulsor, hydro dam, get labs into the mix, capacitor, artillery is kind of good, rig is kind of swamps, so that's good, containment for sure, slums for sure, runoff, pit, gauntlet 100% salvage and maybe market i'm not going to add it in for this case but you know market is a it's 50 50 same with water treatment so the places i have right now that are red are typically those areas where you're going to find multiple teams that are minimum two to three teams that that are going to land there unless the dropship is like this one maybe but overall i would say these are the areas where you're going to find a lot of teams and if you want to play that slower approach that safer approach where you don't want a 50 50 with the loot and gamble it do not land at these areas now since we do have an example with the drop ship coming in from the top left working its way all the way down to the bottom left i want to go ahead and highlight the green areas which are going to be the most valid drop choices for this sake i know obviously we're not playing an actual game here we don't know where teams are going to be landing but theoretically let's say if this was the drop ship location where should you land so i'm going to go ahead and highlight the green areas obviously the rig is going to be the first one this is a really solid spot to land if you guys haven't landed here before there's a lot of loot definitely enough loot for two teams so if you do get contested there you'll be fine and you can always rotate out and we'll discuss that later in a second where we go ahead and circle all the top landing locations in my opinion so again for this sake we have the rig which is really good swamp obviously it is way out so you're going to need a really good jump master to glide you all the way there cage is not bad here now you could land at these no-name towns too if you cycle in through all of this you'll have enough loot as if let's say you were landing the capacitor or labs or the rig right so if you land here you should be able to loot the rest of these buildings and these developments over here because typically there's not going to be teams that land there so you'll have time to go from here to here to here to loot all of that which would account for one whole town Let's put artillery in the mix for sure. Water treatment's uh, like a 50-50, I would say. Sometimes I go here, there's absolutely no teams here. Other times there's two to three teams here. But I'm gonna highlight a green just in case because you do have some good rotation spots out of here. Like this little development right there you can loot. You can loot that development, this development. So we're definitely gonna put that in there. Market's really good. Now bunker's uh, another place where it's more legend specific. So I would only go here unless you have a caustic. That way if you do get contested, you can hold your ground no problem we can't forget diving board that's not a bad drop either and i do want to select this little town and airbase now I, the reason i did airbase is because even though the dropship is right on top of it most times people don't really like landing here they would only land here if they're trying to rotate out to make a third party attempt right if you're trying to third party gauntlet if you're trying to third party runoff that's when people go airbase so for this specific case if the dropship's coming in from here and it's going all the way down the green is typically where i would probably drop and the red is where i would avoid however i do want to say one thing and that is let's say the dropship it's making its way all the way down and it gets to this point right here and if you turn back and you don't see anyone flying to containment because you can see their trails so always pay attention to that too if you're you know past an area look around where teams are dropping you might get lucky find a team that doesn't hit a hot location and you can cycle your way back there even though if it will take a little bit of extra time since you passed that area all right so since we already highlighted all the areas that i think are super action packed but i want to go ahead and circle the top landing locations for this specific split now if i haven't circled your favorite choice to land that's because i personally haven't had experience with it or you know don't necessarily tend to drop there so there could be other locations that are you know solid drop choices that you guys probably take and gain a lot of rp but for me and my team this is what we're usually used to again leave in the comments down below let me know where your favorite drop choice is what gives you the most rp when you decide to land there so the first area we're going to really talk about is going to be slum lakes this is one of the top three locations that me and my team land uh, a lot of the games and we sort of mastered this area this is what i would call my home base area and when it comes to dropping as a team and ranked and playing with a consistent squad you really want to try to land at the same exact location 
over and over and over again because you sort of build that area into like a little Call of Duty map where you know how to play it perfectly, you know where the best loot is and how to rotate out. So when me and my team land at, we have Slum Lakes on board here. Typically, if we land contested, we send one person this building, one person this building, one person on top. Or if that person on top wants to start at the bottom, that way he can loot the bottom, then work his way up to the top. But this is how we land if we land contested. We let the enemy teams take over in the back area right here they like they can get all this you know maybe some teams want to stack this whole side here some teams want to try to land here to cut off our loot doesn't matter what me and my team do is we land one here one here one here i'm usually this green dot right here i loot up in this section try to meet up with a teammate as soon as possible after i loot this little building area i try to either meet up with the teammate or take high grounds right away see if i can get a quick kill a nice little pick off kill that's going to help my team wipe that squad very easily and it's good to have somebody land on top here because he has the support fire and really good call outs too with the vision because he has high grounds. He can see who's coming from here, who's coming from here. You know, if someone's pulling up, he's going to let me know, which is really good to have someone on top here because then I can just cycle back to him while he has my cover. And if we need to bail the scene, there's a balloon right here that we can just take right out and everything's going to be fine and dandy. So that's going to be our layout when we land contested at Slum Lakes. And we do love also going back here under waterfall i like to call this area if there's two teams that land here if you have multiple teams landing here multiple teams landing here we sort of go maybe we can have someone go here and here but typically we can loot the waterfall right here let me zoom over real quick and someone can also land bridge or hit this underground area and then we can rotate in to third party all the teams that are going to be weakened very little loot they're going to be in shambles and that's where we come in for the nice third party clean this whole area up and then we're out of there we're going to have all that loot to ourselves but for the most part usually it's not that that hot when we land here so very little of the time i say we do that strat where we have we land under waterfall we land on the bridge you know we try to get the scraps around it and then work in very little of the time we do that most times we do what i was saying before where he, where we have one person here one person here and one person here so the next town we're going to go ahead and take a look at is going to be runoff. This is another selected area that I chose for the top landing locations. And when it comes to landing here contested, I would say sticking around this building here. Have one person land at that balcony. You can have someone land in the center and you can have someone land here and then work it in as a team. Now, if there are, let's say, multiple teams here where it's two or more teams and you see enemies start landing over here. And they start landing inside of here where you guys originally planned to land then it might be best to land at the back town here there's three separate buildings a couple of bins you can land back here and then rotate in for a nice third party because you don't want to be the team sandwich right so when you have multiple teams around you that's what you really want to avoid being that team that's in between both teams you want to avoid being sandwiched because that's what's going to ruin your rp ruin your whole game every single time no matter what kind of loot you have and the reason I also circled runoff because it's a really good area to land if you're trying to come up on a third party, whether it's in pit, easy rotation right there, or you can come at the back of slums where typically teams over here in slums, they take a while to fight. And that's when you can also rotate to slums and clean that up. And then you also have that balloon to get out of there if you need to because of the zone. So that's why I like runoff. It's a really good spot to rotate to come up on a nice third party, either slums, the pit, airbase. It's 50-50. It's a it's a long hike to get to airbase. Most times people would have finished fighting. So now we're going to go ahead and look at airbase if you are actually landing here, which is not a bad drop choice. Let me tell you, I mean, most times you could get this place to yourselves, which is going to be really dominant to come up on a third party. Now let's talk about the little looting pattern here. You got the four bins in the center. That's going to be a nice spot to land right off the rip. And then that person can loot this building here. So I won't ping both of those. Someone can land right there, loot this, and someone can land on the little helipad here and also loot the back bins over here. And the reason why I say to loot this side instead of this side here, because there is loot over here, which is good enough for a whole team. But this is why gauntlet. There's a zip line that goes from here to here. You get a nice third party going right into gauntlet, and that's going to set you up for success, give, give you that early kill points. And then you have a balloon to get out of here and fly anywhere you want to. So land at this side of the airbase if you are going airbase and hopefully you're not contested. I mean, if you are, you're just going to have to fight it out. Just try to land at the 
spots where I pinged and fight it that way. But most times you can come up on a nice third party at Gauntlet. Now, I quickly do want to preface if no one's at Gauntlet off the rip, because sometimes people are scared to land here because they think it's going to be really contested. And I mean, most times it is. People love to land at this little no name town here and then rotate right in right from here. Or you can come up from high grounds, come this way in the backside. So if a team lands here and they don't land here off the drop, expect this team to rotate here, you know, to get that purple body shield. And then that's when you can still come up on a nice fight right here, right in gauntlet to get your early kill points. And that actually brings into my next top landing location, which is right here, no name town. So let me go ahead and make a new layer. This is a god spot to land because you can get an easy rotation to make a nice third party attempt here now. Just be aware, and it's good that we actually just covered airbase because you have to expect people landing at airbase, making that same rotation as I just covered. So when you come out of this town, try and hug the, the side here. You want to hit gauntlet from the back side because if you rotate early and you come in from this way, the team in gauntlet is going to put you in between both teams. So let me get my red marker out here. By the time people land gauntlet and you rotate over from this little town, typically they're going to be arranged like in this general area, right? Now, if you come from this town here and you rotate on this side, that team in airbase will put you in the center of both team of the gauntlet team and the team trying to third party. You try to avoid rotating from this front side when you come from this no name town. I love coming up the top here, getting high ground, sliding down, and then you have this whole area blocked. And not only did you block this area, you're not in between both teams. And number two, you have a, a way out. There's a balloon right here that you can take out. Now, landing at this town is it's really a gamble because if a team decides to land with you here, there's not enough loot for two teams. Most times you got one person landing here, one person landing here, one person landing here. OK, you split up the loot as best as possible and you go on a third party. But when you have a team with you here, it's an absolute nightmare. But it can happen. So what I want to say, if it does happen, is there's two little development houses right around here. And then you have the two bins there. You can loot that. Have one person loot that area. And hopefully one or two of your teammates can just get into the mix with it right away and try to cut off the team's loot. And then you guys all collapse on the team. If you get contested here, it's really going to be a gamble. So just be aware of that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at water treatment, which is another top landing location that I highlighted and circled, which is not a bad drop, man. You have a lot of rotations out of here. There's a balloon directly in water treatment right there. You can take the fly out if you need to. Now, when you're landing here, I'd say someone land around here, someone land around here, and then the third person has an option where they can either land on this building or this building. There's two little entrances to go up. You guys can loot it together real quick. And then if you want to take balloon out, you always can. Or you can loot this area here. You can loot this area here and just walk it in. And that way you're not making too much noise, not making too much attention. But if you do decide to take the balloon out, the reason water treatment is a really good drop choice is because you could come up on a nice third party. That balloon will take you around this area. You could probably land right here with that balloon. You can come up on a nice third party over here. Or if it's not, you know, if they're not fighting here, you can definitely loot that little town or come up on a third party of market or salvage. Definitely one of these two areas, there's gonna be teams fighting. So that's why water treatment's really good. So now let's take a look at the next top landing location, in my opinion, which is going to be Hydro Dam since we have it circled there. Let's go ahead and make a new layer. Now when landing Hydro Dam, this place doesn't really have the most loot. I'm gonna be honest. In order to get the most loot out of this place and you wanna spend all your time here, you, you need to be looting inside of that building, which I really don't recommend because then you're wasting a lot of time. So to be able to get just the basics, I'm talking a shield and a, a decent loadout real quick. You got to have someone land at this building, this building, and this building, and then loot inwards and then come up, right? You always want to make sure you hit that building there. There's two bins on the res beacon. And then you guys want to come up on a third party and repulsor. That's going to be a nice rotation right there. Because if you do end up trying to loot the inside of this, sometimes there's teams that land at cage, right? And they have a nice rotation right in here to third party you or catch someone off guard. So just be aware of that. The more time you spend looting here uh, or at any town, should I say, the higher chance you're going to get third party or caught off guard. Now, the reason I did pick Hydro Dam as a top landing location and not Repulsor or not Map Room is because there are a lot of teams that go Repulsor and Map Room and Hydro Dam is going to be the easier rotation in there. Or even if you have one team landing here and there's two teams landing here, this team is going to rotate to Repulsor just like you are for going from Hydro Dam. So this is going to be the hot area right here where all of it is going to go down and most of the fight is going to take place right here. So just be aware of that. 
you are might not be the only person to third party but you have some decent buildings that you can fight on from here that you can take high ground up here uh there's probably going to be a team up here definitely from map room they'll rotate up there but just be aware if you try to rotate and third party over here definitely expect another team to come with you all right so the next top landing location we're going to take a look at is going to be capacitor this is a big area you got a couple charge towers here it's a very big area to loot there's a lot of choices on where you can land but me and my team if we would land here it's going to be around this area right here we have one person come in there one person come in here and one person take this building we have this whole area locked down we have the charge tower right there and we're sort of solidified as a unit right in this spot if we need to rotate out, if there's multiple teams fighting, we can go around this way. Or we can go right into Wraith Labs, take the portal out, which is right there. The reason I don't want to land here, even though there's a zip line up to get up here, is because it's you're only looting one building. There's not enough loot there. This would be another solid choice, but I would say this has the most loot. So this would be the best choice to loot when it comes to getting the best items out of the place. And you can do a lot of things with capacitor so the reason i did circle capacitor as the top landing location is because of the third party let me just go ahead and turn up my opacity third party you can come up in labs or around labs right you need to loot fast though because if you don't catch the third party on the labs team here they will try to third party you coming from underground here and they'll come out of here so if you do land contested you either need to bail the scene or take the fight clean them quick and then pay attention to that third party coming in from over here because this is where most teams will come out for a third party to find something here so we have capacitor covered let's go ahead and take a look at the rig which is a solid choice and most times you're only going to find one team max here so if you're landing here contested you're looking at one team it could be two if they land around here because they can just cycle in right away but most times if you're talking a team landing exactly with you it's going to be one team and the best way to loot this area is have two people land at the top location here, one person here. And then if they do decide to land around here, enemies decide to land back there. It's gonna change it to red. Maybe one person goes there, one there, one there. You have them covered. You're locking them completely out and making them with no escape, right? So you're locking this area, you're locking this, all of this you're locking out. They have to take the fight. Because if they try to rotate, you can easily fry them going this way. That's all open. Uh, they can't take the zip line out here because, you know, you have this covered. So if you land on the outer part, you take high grounds, you can dominate the team that lands in the center. And that's why I love the rig so much because it's not too much of a gamble when it comes to taking a fight there. You're going to get early kill points and you don't really have to worry about teams trying to third party you again, unless you're unlucky and a team does decide to land around here, or if the team does decide to land around here, you're not gonna get third party fighting here. So solid choice to drop. And now let's go ahead and take a look at our last choice, which is going to be diving board. It's not containment. I mean, I don't know why it's, I made the circle pretty big, but yeah, diving board is gonna be the next location here. Let's go ahead and make a new layer. Diving board, I mean, there's not too much loot, but the point of this is obviously to come up on a nice quick third party. So you have two houses here and entire section inside. And then you guys come up for the third party over in containment, which is containment's a really hot drop. Most times you're going to find multiple teams here. So just be aware that this could be some nice, easy cash for you to come up on early game. Get those quick early points and then you're off rotating early for zone. Now, diving board is not going to be the best place for loot, especially just like the no name town that we covered right here. It's not the best place for loot, but it is the best place to come up on a nice third party. So just keep that in the back of your head. You know, you're not there to loot for 10 years and then rotate. You're there to get a quick loadout, a shield, two weapons, and then you're off to take a quick fight. And that's pretty much going to be it. I covered all the locations in terms of where to loot and how to rotate. Now, obviously, there are going to be some other good choices to land at but this is for me and my team's sake and this definitely could work for you guys